In this video, we will see about the second quadrant chopper or type B chopper. Then how regenerative braking is done in this chopper and also about dynamic braking in choppers. So what is a second quadrant chopper? So if it operates in the second quadrant that is the voltage is positive and the current is negative what happens the power will be negative. So it is a braking operation and in this mode that is in this second quadrant the DC motor will work as a generator and feeds the energy back to the supply. This is the circuit diagram of the second quadrant chopper. So in second quadrant uh, V should be positive and I should be negative. So you can see here the arrow current direction it is pointing towards the source so that the current is negative. So if the current is negative you have to connect the diode in this direction so that the current will flow in this direction. So from the supply you will not receive any current only from the load current flows to the source because this is regenerative chopper. So during the on period that is you see here supply voltage here diode and one switch is connected across the motor terminals. Now when this switch is on it is a direct shot. So it means that the output voltage is or this armature voltage is zero. And during the off period that is when you remove the gate pulse for this transistor this part is open so the current from the load that is the motor will be fed back to the supply. So if you see the diagram or the waveform during the on period of the switch output voltage is zero. During the off period you will get this voltage V or it is represented as Vs. Now let us derive the average voltage. So the average voltage is given by 1 by T total time period integral of you have to take T on to T because from this instant this instant is T on T on to total time period your output voltage is Vs. That is during off period you are getting the voltage. So you simplify this one. Apply the limits. You will get T minus T on divided by T. But we know what is T on by T. That is duty cycle alpha. So you will get 1 minus alpha into Vs in case of regenerative chopper. In first quadrant chopper we got alpha into Vs. In second quadrant it is 1 minus alpha into Vs. So this is the average voltage. Next we will derive the speed torque relation. So we know for a motor Va is equal to Eb plus Ia Ra. Here the motor works as a generator. So it is written as Eb minus Ia Ra. What is the average voltage we have derived? 1 minus alpha into Vs. So that is equal to this equation. So from this we know back EMF is equal to Km into omega M. So substitute Eb equal to Km omega M. From this you can find what is omega M. Similarly to get the torque you write torque is equal to Km into Ia. So from this Ia equal to torque by Km. So you substitute here T by Km and find what is the speed torque relation. So this is the speed torque equation. So we can uh, plot it. So you can see here breaking in second quadrant you will get the characteristics like this. So this is first quadrant operation in motoring mode and this second quadrant in braking mode. Let us find what is the minimum braking speed and maximum braking speed. 
so minimum braking speed can be found by substituting alpha equal to 1 so when alpha is 1 means the switch is fully closed because alpha is t on by t when t on is uh, equal to t you will get alpha equal to 1 so when alpha is 1 this term becomes 0 so omega m is equal to this one ia ra by km or you can write torque divided by km square also and to find the maximum braking speed substitute alpha equal to 0 so when you make 0 you will get vs by km plus ia ra by km so far we have seen about regenerative braking chopper now we will see about dynamic braking chopper so what is actually dynamic braking we will remove the power supply and connect the resistor across the terminals so in this case the same regenerative braking chopper circuit is used except that the source is removed and a resistor rb is connected across the terminals so when this switch is on it is a short so the voltage is zero and when this is open the current passes to the resistor breaking resistor and there will be a voltage drop of vb let us find what is the energy consumed by this braking resistor rb so energy uh, you can see that when the switch is on all the current will be passing through the shorted path only when the switch is off current will pass to the braking resistor so e is equal to i square r into off period what is off period t minus total time minus on period will give you off period so this is the energy consumed by this resistor rb let us find the power what is the average power so power is energy by time so this energy divided by time so t minus t on divided by t will give you one minus alpha because alpha is t on by t so this is the average power next we will find what is the effective value of the resistance you can see here a resistance is connected in parallel with the switch the on and off period of the switch will determine the effective value of the resistance or this resistance is connected only when the switch is off so it, this combination a switch in parallel with the resistance is said to be a control resistance so the net resistance at this point is going to depend upon the on and off period of the switch so let us calculate the effective value of that resistance at this point so uh, that is equal to this resistance into off period off period is 1 minus alpha and we know the average voltage va you see here va is here that va is equal to this current into this resistance so ia into rbe so va we can write it as eb minus ia ra and eb is km into omega m so let us equate these two equations so substitute ia r b e is equal to this one so from this you can find what is omega m so omega m equal to ia into r b e plus r a divided by k m where r b e you can write it as r b into 1 minus alpha so the speed depends upon to resistance R as well as R the armature resistance RA. Let us find the equivalent load resistance of this generator. So here equivalent resistance is equal to this voltage divided by current plus armature resistance. So what is VB the voltage across this one? 
that is the current through this branch into its equivalent resistance. So, equivalent resistance already we have found it is Rb into 1 minus alpha divided by Ia. So, you can cancel Ia. So, your equivalent resistance is this one. So, the points to remember here are it is a second quadrant chopper. It is also called a regenerative braking chopper. Here the motor works as a generator and feeds the energy back to the supply. And the average voltage is given by 1 minus alpha into supply voltage. In case of dynamic braking, uh, first we have to remove the power supply and connect a uh, braking resistor across the armature. If you like the material, please subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.